Hello, my name is Holly Ireland. I'm the Executive Director of Mitchell Mental Health Systems. Um, and um, we, I represent mental health um, on the Queen Anne's County Partnership for Children, Youth, and Families as the representative of the Local Management Board. And my name's Kathy Stevens. I'm with Midshore Mental Health Systems also. I run the Defeating Stigma Coalition and co-host a radio show and try my best to support my colleagues in the Midshore. And we're here today as part um, of a series, the beginning of a series that we're going to do around suicide prevention and defeating stigma for behavioral health conditions. Um, in partnership with the Queen Anne's County uh, Partnership for Suicide Prevention right. and Midshore Mental Health Systems. During the next several months, um, we will air public service announcements like this um, to inform everyone about suicide. We'll work to dispel myths um, that often prevent people from helping those um, that they care about as well as myths that hinder people from seeking access to care. And Holly, can you, would you just say, why is this important? Why now? I mean, why are we doing this now? I know we've been in discussion for quite a while about this, but it, it's pretty important right now. We've just seen, you know, a lot of things going on. Uh, we just lost a very important person, certainly globally, with mm -hmm. Robin Williams. Um, so what's the importance of this now for our community on the Eastern Shore, in your, in your view? I think it's been important for a long time. Um, but I think it's particularly important right now because we know that suicide rates are on the rise. Um, certainly across the nation, they are high and on the, have been on the rise in Maryland. And we know through our local health improvement coalition that our rates for the Midshore region, particularly Queen Anne's County, are higher than the state average. Wow. And I know in Maryland, suicide is the 11th leading cause of death. Mm -hmm. Nationwide, it's the 10th. Um, but I think that it's really important for everyone to know, too, that um, different people show different signs and symptoms. I mean, you may see one thing in someone, say, who's 12 to 17 years mm -hmm. old. Um, right now, middle-aged white males, uh, there's a spike there. Since 2008, that is the um, demographic with the greatest increase. Right, and we're also seeing a huge increase with um, those in the elderly population, say uh, 75 and older. Absolutely. Um, so I, I think it's really important for people to start to pay attention. And I think that those two points about the demographics that are growing, um, mm -hmm. the greatest rate that's growing, we often think of suicide as being a teen issue or a right. young adult issue, which it certainly is, but it is not limited to that. We really need to focus and understand um, suicidality across the lifespan from very young children, as you said, to the aging population, mm -hmm. and really understanding where particular pockets of, population, of our population, say veterans, right. um, the uh, lesbian, gay, and transgendered community, um, and those who are homeless um, have higher rates um, of suicidality and, and a different um, need. Well, Correct. Need. Yeah, and I know for military groups in particular, the military culture um, really hinders. I mean, it almost looks down on seeking help because basically you're supposed to suck it up and be pretty tough after all your fighting wars. Mm -hmm. um, but there, but there's a lot that goes with that. So you have to break down that culture as well to get in, and it's a different door. Absolutely. For people who are trying to help. And help-seeking behavior in some cultures is seen as a sign of weakness, right. but it's truly... Um, takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of strength to recognize that one needs help and then to reach out for that help. Right. Or even to talk to someone that you see needs help and encourage them to get that help. And one of the myths that we're going to be talking about too in the later time is that um, it's, it's not going to uh, encourage someone to complete a suicide if you're asking them about it. So I think that's something that's important. And some of these conversations are going to be tough for people to have, but sometimes the best conversations are, are the most difficult. And we'll talk more about that when we come back. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks.